you have to basically leave. You need to start packing up all your stuff yeah. and get out now. Really? You are illegally living here now. So then is this deliberate damage? Yeah. Or accidental? There is no insurance on this matter. Property manager Andrea's heading off to the town of Mosgiel, where property manager tenancy transparency has become clouded. Tenant's been in the lease for about nine months. She contacted the office and she wanted to break her lease. So we gave all the information to break lease and she's ghosted us. Ghosting is a term property managers use to describe those who've done a runner without paying rent. This tenant didn't want to break the lease because that comes with a hefty price tag too. We've given notice to go in and do an inspection of the property and it's we're in a bit of a bad state, so we just want to go out and have a look for ourselves, ascertain whether or not it has been abandoned. While the property is technically abandoned, its vacancy makes it ripe for squatters or even drug dealers. Hello? Front door stays open in case she has to make a run for it. Hello? Hello? I don't think anyone's here. The property is clear. Oh. But the air needs clearing. This is a horrible stink in here. Two of the best nostrils in the business go to work. What have we got here? Andrea's determined to find the source of that smell. It's not behind the curtains. Marks over the backs of the curtains, which are all brand new. Not inside the heat pump. Dirty, dirty. Not inside the fireplace. No colouring in today, kids. Maybe it's upstairs. It's not going to be pretty. Hot water cupboard, negative. But in the lavatory, Andrea makes a positive ID. Definitely code brown. At least Andrea doesn't have to go to the tribunal to get rid of this tenacious tan-coloured toilet tenant. She can evict it right now. Ugh. <laughs> it's not even flushing. I think we have a blockage. Ugh. That's disgusting. Andrea seeks urgent fresh air, but out the back, the tenants have had another dump. Oh, Lordy. There's a huge big sack. Jam packed or something. Oh, look, there's also an engine part weaver and an old rusty bed base. That's an eyesore and expensive to dump. What sort of tenant backs out of a rental agreement, backs one out in the toilet, and then leaves with rubbish inside and outside the property? The neighbour knows she's had to put up with them for months. They started doing parties and drink and shouting, yelling, laughing, and it was really a bit horrible. Really horrible. Andrea's running dangerously low on expressions of disgust. It never ceases to amaze me. People think they can just up and go. It's just heartbreaking to think that they can do this to a property. The tenants owe Click Property Management a bundle of cash and an explanation. Andrea will advise the Tenancy Tribunal of abandonment, tidy the place up and get deserving new tenants. But a few days later, she gets an email. I've heard from the tenants and the neighbours to say that the tenants did not vacate. Neighbours have advised the tenants are sitting out the front waiting for me to turn up, so um, be prepared, there could be fireworks. Crews off to do an exit inspection on a house where the tenants have allegedly left it in a total pigsty. Due to a recent legal precedent, the good girls have quite the quandary. So we're really looking at what might be fair, you know, the fair wear and tear. Yes. And then the extreme. And then the absolute extreme yeah. of, so we've got a... of deliberate damage. Well, the garden hasn't been done, has it? The good girls soon spot the first example of wear and tear. Chair wear and tear. Derelict door, normal wear and tear. Mm. You can see there's some sort of oh. splatter of something. It looks oh. like food to me. Gravy up there, normal wear and tear. Is this fair wear and tear, one wonders? <laughs> oh! And in the kitchen, oh. ex Bel Air wear and tear. There's a hair beside it. Yeah, yeah. There's a hair hanging off there too. Oh! Go, go look on the top. 
Don't touch it. I can't see. Don't touch it. Oh, oh God, I saw a pube down the bottom. Pubic hair in their wear and tear. Oh, look, there's rodent poo in with... Yeah. Mouse poo wear and tear. Sticky floor wear and tear. Rusty hinge wear and tear. Filthy curtain wear and tear, microwave wear and tear, dirty shower wear and tear, lampshade wear and tear, smelly whiteware wear and tear, long hair wear and tear. Just no respect whatsoever. Whilst the wear and tear in here has proof in despair, it can be repaired. But upstairs, the inspection reaches a new low with structural damage. Christ! Look at all of this! That there. That's not wear and tear. Andrea from Click Property Management thought she'd seen the last of some tenants who abandoned one of her rentals and left it in a pigsty. But now they've moved back in. Andrea and colleague Sam are off to confront them. So ones we're prepared to pay the rent arrears to let the tenants stay, but because of all the problems we've had with the tenants and the neighbours, I didn't want them to stay. I was given instruction by the owner that he also wanted them out and the neighbours definitely want them out. This is why you have a property manager. While Andrea doesn't expect trouble, doesn't mean it won't happen. Oh, battle stations, I think. It must be. You have to basically leave. You need to start packing up all your stuff yeah. and get out now. Really you are illegally living here now. You'll have to get a bailiff to remove us because we have nowhere else to go yeah. and yep. we can't put kids out on the street. The tenant's suggestion of calling the bailiff is not recommended by Andrea. If the bailiff turns up, he may say you need to just get out with nothing. I'd like you to leave. Yep, fair enough. OK, we'll see you back here with the bailiff. With kids involved, the bailiff is the nuclear option. Andrea can't believe it's come to this. I tried to do the decent thing by telling the tenants that they need to pack up because this is serious. They're not going to be able to stay any longer than the bailiff. Never had to deal with such um, unsavoury tenants and I feel so sorry for the poor neighbours. They're all living in fear of their own safety. Good Girls property managers Prue and Raywin are performing an exit inspection on a house that's been lived in but not loved for four long years. So far, the tenants are only guilty of leaving the house in a pigsty. But upstairs, Prue and Raywin have found something far more serious. When leaving the window open um, during the day, and pull for yes, the water has come in, the water's come in and it's Oh. Leaked all down the side of the wall there. So we get, have to get that all um, fixed. So then is this deliberate damage? Yeah. Or accidental? There is no insurance on this matter. Is this fair wear and tear? Mm. After a couple of years. Mm. You see, these are the arguments that we, as property managers, have to represent in court. The house also came fully furnished, and many of the chattels are in a state of disrepair. This is just people that don't give a rat's ass about other people. That's all this is, isn't it? That's right. They did their best, but they do not give a rat's ass. God, there's, there's pubes in there. A Briscoe's and Bunnings run is on the cards. Outside, the purchase of a brand new lawnmower. I love the way the grass has grown through the mower. And an ashtray might not go amiss. It's revolting. <laughs> they haven't emptied that for four years. No. Have they? Prue and Rowan have seen enough. There's a lot to do in this flat. Yeah. But before leaving, Raywin shows Prue one last travesty. I want you to look up. Good God. And I must so say... somebody was up here with their hands. The mystery handprints are also all over the bathroom ceiling. I wonder what they were doing in the mirror with and one hand on the roof to steady. The layout of the bathroom suggests to Prue this can only be the result of one thing, gymnastics of an unsavoury nature. It could be the makings of further students. Okay. So we got a plan, yeah. don't we? Yeah. 
it's back to the office to ring cleaners and handy persons, followed by a thorough personal disinfection. A lot of work, isn't it? Oh! Click property manager Andrea is dealing with a troublesome rental property in Mosgiel, where the tenants trashed the place, disappeared, then tried to move back in. But with instruction from the landlord to get rid of them, bailiffs visited, removed the offenders. Now all Andrea and associate Sam have to do is go and assess the state of the property. The tenants have been given a trespass notice to go, they're not allowed to go back into the property. We've had the locks changed, so I've got brand new keys. The Click team is under no illusion this inspection will be straightforward or indeed pleasant. Like reverse goats, these tenants are always trying to get back in. Well, what would we do if the tenants came back? Um, I'd call the cops because otherwise they are trespassing. Nonetheless, it's a sunny morning and a great day to be involved in the business of helping people no matter what their debt to the community. Oh my god. <laughs> That's disgusting. If that's what is on the outside, imagine what it's going to be like on the inside. Oh, someone put the bins out at least. Well, that one's been emptied. Oh, that one hasn't. Oh, God bless. Well, there's evidence that they uh, had Christmas here. With a few black bin liners, the front of the flat can easily be freshened up. But the inside's going to require some air freshener, a crate of it. Oh, my goodness. Well, holy Toledo. What does that smell? This time, the smell seems to be coming from the kitchen, not the toilet. Oh, dirty nappies. God bless the little beggars. Hey, look, they've left us lunch. Perfect. Cheese rolls are a South Island delicacy. They're not fresh. These ones yeah. smell like toilet rolls. Well, it was dirty before, and it's dirtier now. It is actually quite upsetting. The tenant's smelly living area can be remedied by opening windows, steam cleaning the carpet and elbow greasing the kitchen. However, upstairs, it's not the smell that's puzzling. The wooden dresser that was here is uh, spontaneously combusted. I don't understand why they would meticulously take it apart. Dowel by dowel. It's a mystery why these folks would dismantle their chest of drawers. But Sam has a rare ability. She can think like a tenant. Behind here, we've got some drawings. Ah, oh, yes, we do, Sherlock. It's, just, it's a smart move on them, trying to at least cover them up. Oh, you're behind so the deconstructed them. cupboards. The one glimmer of hope comes from an unlikely area the toilet. It's positively glowing. However, out the back of the flat, it's a different story. The pile of rubbish from last time has grown exponentially. Oh, look, they've thrown out some perfectly decent cleaning products as well. Well, there's no point in leaving them in the house, is it? Because if they left them in the house, they might actually have to use them. The sheer scale of belongings left behind is staggering. Quality work pants, a serviceable picnic table, kids' dolls, an unmarked desktop, and brand new jumper leads. Andrea's going to jumpstart this oh, restoration into life immediately. It's pretty disgusting and disappointing. We're just now priority to get this cleaned up as quickly as possible, get it on the market, get some nice tenants in here. One more thing to do, a quick courtesy call to the long-suffering neighbour. Hi, Sam. Hello. So why, tell me about the door. What happened um, here? The next-door tenant's daughter, she, I don't know why she was so angry, and then she came into our property and started banging on the door. And I think before going, she banged so loudly, mm. it cracked. I think she might have done it like this, like if I was being it. Oh, yeah, oops, a bit more. Oops. Another one. No, oh, well, really it's already broken. broken. Because the damage was caused by Andrea's tenant, Click Property Management will cover the loss and have the window replaced for this tenant who's been through enough already. All right, take care. We'll see you next time. OK, bye-bye. The place looks like it's gone to rack and ruin, just from the tenants rubbish strewn everywhere. So, yeah, back to the office, get the trades in hand, get this property up and running. A group of young ladies has recently been into the Good Girls to inquire about a rental accommodation. So we're going to go and see, and there were the handprints all over the ceiling, we may recall as part of the tale. 
It sounds like the good girls have got some even gooder girls to love and look after this property after its four years of extreme neglect. Hi, I'm Nice I'm Prue nice from Good Girls. Prue. Flatmate is only too happy to show Prue around and hear all the horror stories of the dirty, naughty, grubby tenants who used to live under this roof. Well, well it's certainly a lot cleaner than it was, isn't it? So there the actually was fat, brown fat, drooling down the walls. So we had to scrub it and paint it. My yeah. God. They just never turned the range hood on. And it was just ruined. Finally, Prue can say goodbye to unholy messes, but say hello to some sensible, spirited tenants. These are all empty. Yeah. We just tip them down the toilets um, most evenings, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'm delighted, and I know the girls will look after it, which is great. They won't let it get like it did. <laughs> It was gag city. It's much better now. The total cost of all the cleaning and repairs comes to $3,000. Prue's thrilled for her new tenants and about the fact that from now on, it's all going to be good, clean fun. Click property manager Andrea's optimistically pessimistic about her abandoned and then reoccupied flat. That'll be interesting to see what state the house is in today. Andrea hopes this inspection looks good, feels good, and smells good. Oh, my goodness. The front yard has been cleared up, and the tenants have cleared out. <sighs> now that's literally a breath of fresh air. All I can smell is cleaning products. For the first time in four visits, Andrea's nose does not wrinkle in disgust. No more mouldy cheese rolls. The kitchen, immaculate. Clean cupboards. Ooh. No more crumbs. Children's drawings on the walls are a thing of the past. Wow. These carpets are amazing. And best of all, the backyard is as bare as a bird's bum. I didn't recognise this uh, bit of backyard. Hasn't seen the light of day for a while either. That pile of junk had been here for obviously quite some time to kill the grass. Best of all, the tenants are paying $3,438 for damages, cleaning and unpaid rent back at $30 a week for the next three years. Property Management 101. Always take time to... Ah, <sighs> smell the roses. This inspection has passed with flying colours. Moscule, done.